This is Pre-Calc Talk Fit 9, and we are working on that practice assessment. We're into the back now. Find the center. Identify the type of conic that this is. Find the eccentricity. So I don't have to graph it, but I do. I'm, I'm going to get it into graphing form so I can, I can find my center and find my C and my A values. So let me rearrange this. I'm going to get the Xs all together. So negative 9X squared minus 50, nope, minus 162 x plus 7y minus 56y equals 680. So far, so good. So now I'm going to complete the square. So on the x's, I'm going to factor out a negative 9. And if I do that, let's see, 162 divided by 9 is 18. Factor a 7 out of the y's. That should have been a y squared. y squared minus, that should be an 8. Great, so now I'm gonna complete the square. Uh, half of negative eight is nine, uh, negative nine. Negative nine squared is 81. So I'm gonna add an 81, but that 81 is multiplied by negative nine. So this is actually worth negative 729. So I subtracted 729 from this side. I have to balance it out over here, minus 729. Complete square here, half of negative eight is negative four. Square that is 16. But it's not really worth 16. It's worth 7 times 16, which is do 112. So I'm going to add 112 here. So let me think about this method that I have here. This factors down to x minus 9 squared. That's why I did that work. So I could write that as that. Uh, this factors down to y minus 4 squared. Again, that was my doing. Um, 680 minus 729 plus 112 is 64. Uh, divide everything by 64, get it equal to 1 to get it into the right form. Um, that makes this uh, 60, that leaves me a 7, so negative x minus 9 squared over 7 plus, that leaves me uh, to do 9, y minus 4 squared over 9 equals 1. So notice it's uh, y squared minus x squared. You don't have to rewrite it this way, but we usually, we're used to writing this like this. So I can see my center must be at x is 9 when y is 4. And my eccentricity, well, I know that c is a squared plus b squared. So 9 plus 7, oh, c squared is that, sorry. So c squared is 16, so c must be 4. So my eccentricity is 4 over uh, the direction that it's going this way, uh, which would be 9, uh, but we're written 9, which is 3. So my eccentricity is 4 thirds. Oh, and there's one more piece I need to say what this is. This is subtraction, so this is a hyperbola. Hyperbola. All right, there it is.